Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Musimathics Rhythm and Meter video. In this video, I'll be going over calculating note durations using summations, different metric classes, and polyrhythms and meters. Before we begin, we should establish a formal definition of rhythm and meter. Rhythm in music is the recurrence or movement marked by the regulated succession of strong and weak elements or beats. Rhythms might be something as simple as a quarter note or something as complicated as a syncopated 30-second note triplets. According to Oxford Music Online, meter is the grouping of beats into a recurring pattern defined by accentuation. In notated Western music, meter is expressed as a ratio of the number of beats to each measure over the unit value of each beat. For example, in 6-8 time, each measure has 6 eighth notes. We can calculate the value of dotted notes, which are very common in music, using summations. Consider a quarter note with three dots in 4-4 time. The first dot adds half the length of the quarter note, which is an eighth note. The second dot adds half the value of the previous dot, which is an, another sixteenth note. The final dot adds again half the value of the previous dot, which is a thirty-second note. So in total, we have a quarter note plus an eighth note plus a sixteenth note plus a thirty-second note. We can express this process in summation notation using the following formula. T the total duration of the note you're looking for equals d times the summation from i equals 0 to, to n of 1 over 2 to the n, where d is the undotted note's duration and n is the number of dots. So for this particular example, d is 1 fourth and n equals 3. If we do the computation, we end up getting 15 over 32, or 15 32nd notes. There are two different types of meter, duple and triple, and two subtypes associated with each of those types, simple and compound. In duple meter, as the name implies, each measure is divided into an integer multiple of two beats. In other words, two divides the top number in the time signature. In triple me meter, each measure is divided into an integer multiple of three beats. In other words, three divides the top number in the time signature. Now, within both duple and triple meter exists a finer distinction between the subdivision of each individual beat. In simple meter, each beat can be divided into two parts. In compound meter, each beat subdivides into three parts. For example, 9-8 is compound triple meter because there are three beats to each bar and each beat divides into three eighth notes. Polyrhythms occur when two or more conflicting rhythms occur at the same time. For example, you might have one instrument dividing a beat into four equal parts, and at the same time, another instrument dividing the beat into five equal parts. The instruments both align on the beat, but in the space between the beats, they are playing notes that are irregularly out of sync. The same concept applies to polymeter, where two instruments may be playing in different time signatures that have the same number of beats per bar, but have different internal subdivisions. For example, one instrument could be playing eighth notes in 12-8, which is compound duple meter, and another instrument could simultaneously be playing eighth notes in 4-4, which is simple duple meter. They begin each measure together, but in the space between bar lines, their eighth notes create a three against two pattern. Here's an example of one bar of a 5 against 4 beat pattern being played. That's all for this video. To see the next video in the Musimathics series or visit centerofmath.org, click right here on the blackboard. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.